Hello and welcome to another Driving Passion episode. As a car enthusiast, you probably know that the Japanese are experts at manufacturing high-quality SUVs at a budget-friendly price. Well, in that regard, the year 2022 will be exhilarating. And here is a list of the most attractive Japanese SUVs for the upcoming year. So, starting with the Mitsubishi Outlander 2022. The new model for 2022, conceptually and design-wise, builds on previous Mitsubishi GT PHEV and Engelberg Tourer studies. The new Outlander shares the platform with the new Nissan X-Trail, as Nissan owns about one-third of Mitsubishi. The new dimensions have enabled the installation of a third row of seats so that the new Outlander can carry seven passengers and more luggage. The new Outlander will be powered by Nissan's 2.5-litre atmospheric petrol engine, with 184 horsepower at 6,000 rpm and a maximum torque of 245 newton meters at 3,600 rpm. A new 8-speed CVT automatic transmission is in charge of the gearing. Electronics is in charge of six different driving modes, depending on the type of terrain and the driver's affinity, and they are eco, normal, sporty tarmac, gravel, winter snow and off-road mud. The list of safety and driver assistance systems is long. It also includes systems for reading traffic signs, collision warnings, automatic braking in case of danger, and warning of vehicles in a dead corner. The car's interior is entirely new. The materials used are of better quality and have attractive finishing touches. This first American Outlander will sell in the US at a starting price of just over $25,000. Like this video and subscribe to our channel today to never miss a new car review and stay up to date with the latest automotive news. Thanks for subscribing. So next up, the Subaru Outback 2022. Significantly more modern than its predecessor, the new Outback boasts greater body stiffness and new off-road driving modes. Still, it won't arrive before the new 6th generation Outback Caravan, formerly the Legacy Outback, arrives on the European market. For now, the framework plan is for the new model to arrive in Europe in April or around the beginning of May at the latest, and May the 8th was confirmed for the German market, and it will appear first in the markets that are traditionally the biggest consumers of Subaru vehicles. The European model will not get its new 2.4-litre turbo gasoline of 260 horsepower, at least for now. Consumers will have to settle for the old 2.5-litre engine with 182 horsepower. Prices haven't been announced yet, but is expected to be slightly higher than the previous model, which starts in Germany at just over €38,000, which is around about US dollars Next up, the Nissan Pathfinder 2022. Well, the 2022 Pathfinder will be available to North American buyers in the summer, but its price hasn't yet been mentioned in the news. In addition to a more modern look, the new Pathfinder also attracts attention with a 9-speed auto transmission, a 3.5-litre V6 engine with 284 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque, as well as a spacious interior for up to 8 passengers. The vehicle has standard front-wheel drive, but all-wheel drive is also available. Variants with 4x4 drives also have a drive mode selector with 7 driving modes. The interior also features a 12.3-inch digital instrument panel, a 9-inch infotainment system screen, a heads-up display, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a Wi-Fi hotspot, wireless charger, a Bose audio system with 13 speakers, and a surround view camera system. Also, the equipment includes an automatic braking system with pedestrian detection. And the prices? Well, they range between $30,000 and $50,000. Next up, the Toyota Hybrid Highlander 2022. It's beautiful and spacious. The sophisticated seven-seater Highlander SUV is equipped with Toyota's latest hybrid technology and intelligent all-wheel drive system, the AWD. In addition to a comfortable ride, the Highlander provides the power, the economy and practicality necessary for your active lifestyle. The total system power of 244 horsepower combined with CO2 emissions of just 146 grams per kilometre and a fuel consumption of 6.6 .6 litre per 100 on the WLTP cycle or 117 grams per kilometre and 5.2 litres per 100 compliant with the NEDC standard, representing the best power to CO2 ratio in this segment. The Highlander Hybrid 
is equipped with the latest TSS, that's the Toyota Safety Sense, which combines active safety technologies to prevent or mitigate collisions in a large number of unwanted situations. And the car is expected to cost anywhere between $35,000 and $50,000. So next up, the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross for 2022. So Mitsubishi Motors Corporation, MMC, has unveiled the restyled 2022 Eclipse Cross, offering a sleek, sporty SUV look and improved dignity and driving comfort. Its hybrid variant, the PHEV, will also be available in specific markets. New front bumper protection and a refreshed headlight layout complete the front design with a bold and dynamic look. Inside the cabin, the new black interior with silver accents and light grey leather upholstery creates a more sophisticated look. SDA is delivered as standard, providing the driver with a better overview of information and effortless operation. Transferred from the previous model, the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross is equipped with the company's 1.5-litre MIVEC four-cylinder direct injection engine. Thoroughly modern in design, the MIVEC engine is all aluminium due to its lightweight and perfect balance of seemingly different power and efficiency priorities. Mitsubishi Motors' SAWC system provides stable handling and precise control, giving drivers the confidence to overcome all road conditions easily. So next up, the Honda HRV 2022. Honda has joined Nissan, which has prepared a combination petrol and electric motor for Qashqai, where the SUS engine serves exclusively as a power supply unit for electric motors. The petrol isn't directly connected to the drive wheels, but the car behaves as purely electric. The good news is that the new generation Honda HRV also has famous magic seats, where the lower part is raised and folded so that tall objects can be transported in the cabin, since the full height of the cabin from the floor to the roof is used. It's also interesting that the rear seats are profiled to provide maximum comfort for two people. We can also see two belts in the photos, so since this is a prototype, we assume that the serial version will still be registered for five people. And for this great vehicle, you'll have to spend between thirty and fifty thousand dollars. Next up, the Acura MDX 2022. Acura announced the new fourth-generation crossover MDX in mid-October, and then it was in the form of a prototype. But we now have a definitive serial model. As previously confirmed, the new MDX is slightly wider than its predecessor and has a wheelbase that is 71 mils longer as well. With a new platform and modern design, this model has three rows of seats and offers a more modern and spacious interior. Milano leather, wood, 12.3-inch infotainment system, digital instrument panel, heads-up display, leather, LED ambient lighting and ELS Studio 3D audio system with 16 speakers join the lineup. And later, a sports type S version will appear. The standard MDX will have a 3.5 litre V6 engine with 290 horsepower and 362 newton meters, paired with a 10 speed automatic and front wheel drive, and 4x4 drive is optional. The sales start in the summer at an expected price of around $47,000. So, next up, the Nissan Armada 2021. The Armada for the North American market enters the model year 2021 with a changed look at the front and modern interior. Driver assistance systems, including rear door alert, warn the driver if they've forgotten someone or something in the back seats. There's a 5.6-litre V8 engine with 400 horsepower and 560 newton meters of torque under the hood with a 7-speed auto transmission and standard rear-wheel drive. And all-wheel drive is also available, of course. The price is set around $49,000 for the base S model and $66,000 for the platinum model. And next up, the Nissan Qashqai Rogue Sport 2021. With the bodywork upgrade, the Qashqai's exterior is now more determined, with more expressive shoulder lines, an extended wheelbase and imposing 20-inch alloy wheels. The car's appearance gives it a sense of dynamism. The electric tailgate will make it easier to access the trunk when your hands are full, and the total trunk volume has been increased by 50 litres compared to the previous generation model. The new Qashqai brings the first introduction of Nissan's innovative e-power drive system to the European market. An exclusive Nissan system 
and one of the essential elements of its intelligent mobility strategy, the e-power system is a unique approach to electrification, making everyday driving exciting. The price is set between $28,000 and $33,000 US dollars. And next up, the Toyota Venza. Well, according to many characteristics, the Venza will be one of the most petite models in its class. It'll share the platform and wheelbase with the RAV4 crossover, but will be around 15 centimeters longer. In terms of trunk space with lowered seats, the Venza lags behind the RAV4 SUV, while the space in the second row of seats is identical. The mechanics are also borrowed from Toyota's best-selling model. This means that the new crossover lies on the TNGA platform and is powered by comparable 2.5-litre petrol in combination with electric generators. The engine offers 219 horsepower, while the combined cycle consumption is only 5.9 litres per 100 kilometres. And again, these are identical numbers to those already provided by the hybrid version of the RAV4. And the price for this one is set between $35,000 and $40,000. And so to wrap up, needless to say, we are really excited to see if these Japanese SUVs will stand up to the expectations in the upcoming months. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Do check out these other videos and of course, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time.